Good morning, everybody. Orin J here with another Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis video. And amongst all of the news about Sephiroth and the ranking scoring event and all of that, we had some more big and potentially maybe more important news about Ever Crisis dropped today that was a surprise to me. There's a couple things on there that have really been being hyped up, but there's a piece of this news today I want to talk about that could be one of the most important things for free to play and low spenders in the game. This coming off the heels of a scoring event, which feels very good for spenders. We got some news today that feels really good for non-spenders. So let's jump in here. Let's talk about it a little bit. And I want to start with the news that everybody's been hyping up. So if you haven't seen, we are getting some new story. Uh, the first soldier chapter five coming out. This is not a surprise. Um, if I have any kind of reaction to this, it's I'm hoping they release story a little bit faster than they have so far. Now, to be fair, the game did come out with quite a bit of story and you did have to play and level your characters and your weapons and all of that to clear a lot of it. So I understand the initial delay in story coming out, but I want the game to release maybe like we're getting first soldier story this week, right? Really soon. But maybe next week, give me some news about the main story, giving me a little bit more. And then after that, let's do some first soldier again or some ever cry, you know, crisis core. I mean, excuse me, ever crisis is this game. But you know what I mean? Like maybe just rotate the different stories coming out. And I'm really looking forward to eventually getting maybe like Dirge of Cerberus added in with the new unit or something like that. But anyway, people are excited. We're getting some new story and it's first soldier. Obviously, we knew about Sephiroth being a new playable character. That's not what I'm here to talk about. What I'm here to talk about is the other news that's been dropping today. Co-op battles with Ifrit. This is the first piece of news that's really good for some low spenders and new players, although it's not my main piece of news. Now, this is cool because it gives you a chance to farm out those Ifrit weapons. And what it says right here is team up with other players to battle Ifrit co-op and depending on the difficulty, summon memories and summon weapons are available as rewards. So, okay, just like in the solo version of this, you do get the weapons and the memories, fine, but compared to solo content, this is the big part right here that I'm clicking on, compared to solo content, summon quests, it may be easier to obtain four and five stars in co-op. I hope this is true. One thing that I worry about with some games is can you encourage co-op to be a thing? Right now, there's a surge of new players in Ever Crisis, right? People are playing this game because it's new and it's fun, but that number will wane over time. And in PvE games specifically, it can be very hard to find co-op partners. We need to continue with this. This is good news. Release co-op events that have to do with prized or treasured things in the game. Summons give you those good weapons, sure, with the elemental attacks, but they also give those summon memories. And if you've used a summon in this game yet, if you're to the point where you're like leveling up your Ifrit or your Shiva or your Ramu, those summons hit really hard. So getting those memories is a big deal. This is good news and more of this I hope is coming soon, but it's not the best news. Those things have been talked about on Discord and stuff a lot today. I want to talk about this one right here. Now look, what we assumed, or what a lot of us assumed, but didn't know for sure, was weapons like the Mirasame, weapons like Barrett's weapon that's on the Mirasame banner that I could never remember the name of. Are those limited, right? Is the Mirasame something that I was going to pull, get a couple copies of on that first initial banner run, and then have to use like cloud specific memories to level up later? And if that's the case, am I going to get more cloud specific memories? And I was like stressing about it. And then we had a summer event. And I was like, oh my gosh, so much limited. Well, some of that limited is going away. What they're announcing right here is this. Um, as of September 28th at 7 p.m. Pacific time, the following weapons will be added to various ticket draws and the exchanges, Mirasame and Heavy Hauser. So our first banner that we've ever gotten, only just what, a month or so into the game, is being added to the general pool. And if I'm reading this right, that's not the only good news. It looks like they're adding it to ticket draws as well. What we will need to see and what we don't have confirmed yet, does that mean my old tickets that I have will update with these new weapons. Now, currently, like if we go, it says right here, affected draws, ticket draw, guaranteed four-star weapon ticket draw, five-star weapon ticket draw, or five-star weapon guaranteed draw ticket, cloud, Barrett, um, guaranteed tickets, all of that, affected exchange, weapon exchange, 
it says it just puts ticket draw right there so what i'm thinking that means is this right if you go to the summons i feel like i just rambled right there for some reason but if you go to the summons and you go to your tickets which i can't do because i'm out of tickets does that mean just my regular tickets have a chance now to have the mirasame and Barrett's gun on there. If so, that's great news for free to play players. That's great news for low spenders. It's great news for anybody who did not chase 10 duplicates of the Murasame on the Murasame banner. Okay, does that mean there's no more limited stuff ever in Ever Crisis? No, no, pause. That's not what that means at all. I have a feeling, and I'll go back into the draw screen here. Things like these beach events, right? Like in gotcha games that I've played before, summer events, Halloween events, which we know we have a Halloween event coming pretty soon. These tend to be limited to the banners that they're on. They rerun, especially seasonally and sometimes like in between seasonally, like sometimes it's like Christmas time and you get a summer banner and you're like, well, Square Enix, it's sure 32 degrees outside. I'm real happy to have this uh, summer swimsuit on, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like these things are gonna stay limited, but it's big news that the Mirasame and the, the um, Heavy Hauser, I remembered it once, are going into the tickets in only a month. This is the biggest news for like the future of this game that I think we got in this new update today. And, and it's a big news drop, right? I didn't expect any of this to come. Let's see what else they say on here. Um, the odds will change to these, the, uh, the odds will change with these additions. The update things and content are subject to change without notice. The odds changing, I imagine that means like you're still going to have your 7.5% chance of pulling a five-star weapon on those general tickets, but now you'll have a slightly worse chance of pulling each one of the five stars within that 7.5% chance, but I don't imagine the odds are going to change any more than that. So that's the big news that dropped today. Keep going. If you're prepping for the scoring event, I'm going to go ahead. Let's see if I get lucky. Let's end this video with a little RNG. I've got a round. Yeah, they're all done. Good. I've got a round of blizzard blows ready to be harvested. Shall we harvest a whole round of blizzard blows? Well, I wish we wouldn't have. That is five two stars. Now, if you're getting to the point where you are worried that you might not have the blizzard blow material that you need or the blizzard material that you need. If you need to keep a two star, what you want to do is go through here when you you know, farm these things. And if you're doing a blow, like a physical move, you want to look for physical attack percentage up. And it looks like even on these two, okay, here we go. This is a potential keeper two star material. Maybe it'll level to three, but if I was just pushing it, if I was really at my limit for prepping for this next event, this could be a good option with that 0.6% physical attack up. And as I leveled it, I could hope it goes to three, a three star materia, and I could hope that my level ups went into that physical attack up. Okay, I'm gonna reload that here in a minute. There's one other thing I wanted to talk about that I didn't touch on in my last pre preparation video. And I'm kind of glad I didn't, but I want to get to it now. So if we go to the metal exchange, people have been asking me about this right here in the crisis metals, fire breach, fire breach and ice breach. So these are materials, right? Like if I click on this right here, this will um, lower fire resist potency low for a single enemy. Now, here's how this kind of works. And I don't have the math on this specifically, but I know generally kind of how this works. If an enemy is already weak to fire, and you hit them with fire breach materia, it will decrease their fire resistance by like a, a one factor. And I don't know what the math on that like further minus one is. Maybe some other content creators have already made this video and they could give you a little bit more detailed info. But what I'm getting right now is this, like I don't know that it would necessarily be worth wasting a turn on fire breach instead of maybe using just a fire attack the, the mob's already going to be weak to fire if this debuff works. Do you kind of see what I'm saying? So we'll have to see. I'm sure there will be videos of people doing high score runs with Fire Breach, without Fire Breach. For me personally, I'm sitting on uh, 1470 Crisis Medals right now. And I haven't bought them. I'm just kind of waiting at this point. I'm going to let some other people do some experimenting for me. But I did want to bring up that I missed that. Uh, keep farming your materials, guys. Keep leveling up your units, getting ready for that event. Good luck on all your Sephiroth pulls. I will be pulling tomorrow at some point, but I do expect extended maintenance. We'll see. I'm not going to schedule a stream to go live right after maintenance. I don't have time in my life for that action, but good luck on your pulls. I will definitely post, post my pull video. I'm going to go ahead and throw some more materia into the synthesis RNG grinder right here, and I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.